much. After spending months in the hospital battling COVID-19 in Arkansas, man, is back home tonight. Our Alexis Wainwright was there as he left the hospital and reunited with his family. It's been a long eight months for this family, but David McPherson is finally back at home with his family. Now, he was initially told that he wouldn't even make it or walk again, but his family tells me he worked so hard to get to this point. It's an emotional goodbye. As 69-year-old David McPherson makes his way home from the Ozark Health Medical Center in Clinton, Arkansas where he spent the past eight months in a hospital bed. It means a lot, but I've got a lot of friends here. I've got a new great-grandson that I hadn't seen yet. I won't see him. McPherson was hospitalized in July of 2020. After falling ill, he was later diagnosed with COVID-19. While he was there, he battled several other complications. He had a blood clot on his lungs. He had pneumonia, and then he had double pneumonia. He had the COVID. He had kidney failure with it. He had heart failure with it, lung failure. And the list goes on. At one point, the family was told that he wouldn't make it. They've all treated me so nice. And uh, I hope everything goes good for everybody. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be up and around. I'm walking now. When I first come in here, I, was, I wasn't hardly able to even move my left side. Good. Take that knee up high. McPherson worked hard to get to the next step of recovery. Everything you can think of that happened, it happened to him, but he had such a, a will to live. And despite hearing the worst news ever last year, Friday he's proving doctors wrong. To see my dad just, just push through. I mean, I know it was hard. He's in a lot of pain, you know, but he just, he pushes through it. He gives people hope. He gives, he gives us hope. I appreciate everyone. <laughs> Now, it'll still take some time for McPherson to fully recover, but the icing on the cake, it's his 69th birthday. His family says that they'll make him a home-cooked meal and a healthy fruit cake. Reporting in Clinton, Alexis Wainwright, back to you. That cake well-deserved. Thank you, Alexis.